Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another broadcast on Klagemauer TV. Regarding the latest world affairs concerning the warmongering of the USA, the path to the Yugoslavian war in 1998 and 1999 could give us clues about how the USA still deals with certain countries, special forces and civilians. The fall of the Yugoslavian president Milosevic was the secret goal of a war set by a former US President Clinton. The USA aligned with the KLA, a gang of criminals and terrorists, to accomplish this. In 1998, even before the airstrike of NATO against Yugoslavia, a few hundred members of KLA were trained in warfare and tactics and equipped with modern weapons through elite units of the SOF, Special Operation Forces and a private company, PMC, which stands for Private Military Company. Despite the retreat of the Yugoslavian army from the Kosovo in 1998, the KLA went on attacking Serbian police bases in Kosovo and killed, po killed policemen. Since Milosevic's negotiation committee did not agree to sign the document of surrender with the USA and NATO, an airstrike of NATO started on March 24th in 1999 without a mandate of the UN Security Council. In 2000, Milosevic was overthrown. In 2001, he was then extradited to the UN for a war crimes tribunal in The Hague. He passed away in 2006, before the conclusion of the legal proceedings. Ask yourself now, what all this has to do with the war in Ukraine these days? Please let me close with a quote of Dennis Healy, former British Defence Secretary and Bilderberger. World events do not occur by accident. They are made to happen, whether it is to do with national issues or commerce. And most of them are staged and managed by those who hold the purse strings. Please help us to spread this important message around the globe and tell your friends and family about Klagemauer TV. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Goodbye.